Today, let me take you to one of the most unique underwater dining experience in all of Spain, Restaurante Submarino. So this is the Restaurante Submarino that we are going. Um, not, it looks so good from the outside. Let's see how does it look from the inside. Uh, I've just uh, booked my lunch in a restaurant of Submarina, which is an underwater restaurant. And I'm so excited. I've been trying, if you're seeing my past videos, I've been trying Turkish food in Spain. I've been trying American food in Spain. You might be wondering <laughs> when am I gonna try Spanish food? So yeah, today it's the time. I'm gonna try paella, which is an authentic Valencia, Valencian dish. So it's a seafood uh, dish made with a lot of rice and seafood. I'm looking forward to the dish as well as the ambience. The pictures look so cool. Uh, I never had uh, experience dining in an underwater restaurant. This is my first time and I hope you enjoy uh, watching it and I'll show you the beautiful restaurant and all that. I'll let you know how the food tastes. So guys, finally I'm in a restaurant of Submarina. I didn't know it's gonna be this fine dining. If I would have known, I would have dressed better, but hey, you know me. Right now we have tuna tataki with truffle celery. It looks so good. You know, it's like the beautiful birthday cake that you don't want to cut on your birthday. So I'm, I'm really hesitant, but hey, let's dig in. Mmm, it's really good. It's, it tuna feels so fresh and light. I like it. I'd give this a 7 out of 10. I'm on to my second starter, which is Pran Agua Chile with red onion and jalapeno. It looks so good. Let me see. Mm. The ingredients taste so fresh. Wow. I'm loving it. No, no, sorry. It's a solid 9 out of 10. It looks so beautiful and it tastes more better than it looks. I'm liking it. Uh, I got my other two starters. This is scallop with zucchini sauce. Let me try. Oh, the scallop looks so soft. Wow. The scallop is so soft. I really like it. It melts in your mouth. It's a good 8 out of 10. I really like it. Right now I have um, octopus with uh, smashed, mashed potato and paprika sand. Let me give it a shot. It looks so good. Wow, the potato is so creamy and the octopus is really good. I like it, I like it very much. I'd give this 8 out, eight out of 10. Hmm. This is a great start for the authentic Valencian payaya. I can't wait to eat. My friend was just asking if this is a fine dining. A good indicator is if the portions are inversely proportional to the price that you pay, then definitely it's a fine dining. I finally got the Valencian special paella with uh, chicken paella with rabbit meat and chicken meat and a lot of scallops and snails as well. It is overwhelming, but then for you, I'm gonna do it. The plate might look big, but 
the thickness is so small so you don't have to worry and let me give it a shot oh this smells so good i wish i could there is a technology where i can make you smell how the food feels hmm it's good i really like it Hmm. It's been like three days since I've been in Spain, and I have not tried any authentic Spanish food. So I really like it. I think if you're in Spain, you should definitely give this a shot. The meat is cooked so well. I really like it. I'd give this seven out of ten. If you are in Spain, this you should try. Paella. Uh, since I'm in Valencia, I've tried uh, authentic chicken and rabbit uh, paella. You can also try seafood paella as well. With that said, I'll see you for desserts. We have our dessert finally, which is passion fruit flan with choco dust and cream and strawberry sauce. Damn, this looks so good. Let me try it. I don't want to spoil the dish. It looks so good, but then hey, we have a train to catch. Okay, it's a little bitter, a little sweet. A good combination of all the flavors together. I can feel a little bit of passion fruit. I like it. I don't say it's great, mind blowing. Mm, five out of ten. So that's it for uh, this restaurant. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully in Barcelona.